The Dewey Decimal System A Brief History The Dewey Decimal System was created by a librarian named Melville Dewey in 1876. Dewey saw a need for putting books in some kind of order so they could be easily found on the shelves. The Dewey Decimal System is still used in school libraries and in some public libraries all over the world. The Ten Categories Dewey Decimal Numbers are all three-digit numbers that represent the ten different categories. Numbers after the decimal point help make the subjects more specific. The Zero Hundreds Computer Science, Information, and General Works This is where you find books on libraries and museums, computers and the internet, UFOs, and Bigfoot. The 100s. Philosophy and Psychology. Philosophy and Psychology refers to how we feel and think and what we believe. Books in the 100s include ghosts, emotions, optical illusions, 200s, religion and mythology. Books in this section include different religions, Greek mythology, and Norse mythology. 300s, social sciences. Books in this section are about our society. Some subjects you can find are government, military, spies, holidays, and folk tales. 400s, language. Books in the language section include words, grammar, idioms, and other figurative language. 500s, science and math. The 500s category is one of the most popular sections. You can find books on math, space, rocks, dinosaurs, plants, and animals. 600s, Applied Science and Technology. This type of science refers to things that are man-made. Books can include health, cars, space travel, pets, and cooking. 700s, art and recreation. The 700s category is another popular category and includes books on arts and crafts, music, and sports. 800s, literature. Literature is not quite the same as fiction books. This section includes poetry, plays, jokes and riddles, and short stories. Nine hundreds, history and geography. The nine hundreds is the last category and includes books on the United States and other countries, explorers, biographies, history, and travel. Now, pick a Dewey Decimal category that interests you and explore the nonfiction section. Find a book, read, and enjoy. References for this presentation.